Hey boys, I don't have to go to work, so I just wasted a few hours fucking around. Uh, why? Because there's so many new guys there that Joe and I don't have to work. Yeah. Joe's pissed. <laughs> I, I thought I was going to work today, you know, all things considered. And then the guys, and then, I did meet the new guys. They are capable, they're good, I feel like they can do it. Would have been cool to have another, uh, BT, BCT. Bacon, cheese, tomato. Dude, I love getting a fucking bacon, cheese, tomato. It's delicious. Fucking love it. It's it's one it's one of those good things you can never go without. A really good home cooked meal. And I appreciate the guys when they do make a good home cooked meal. Fucking makes my mouth water. Fucking makes me hungry for one. I wish I could have sliced tomatoes and bacon. I would have made it. It would be a bitch, but. Oh, that's right. I know why they're able to cook things faster. Because they have a chamber. I don't have one of those chambers. So I can't do it correctly. Which fucking... It, it, it hurts. If I had a chamber like that, I would be able to make so many good fucking sandwich melts. But I don't have a chamber. And you're like, Zach, what the fuck's a chamber? Um, so... Oh, I call them chambers. They're these little holders... Like, you can put on the grill. They have a little handle and a little dome. And on the end of it, there's this small curving dome. There's, like, no, like, bottom on it. And it's just open. And you can just put it over it. How am I supposed to explain this? They are the oven... They're, like, the stovetop versions. You know those microwave holders where you put it in the microwave and it puts over the food and it circulates the heat? That's what it's like. I have those at work, and they're, like, really useful and really great. I love using them. But I'm not here to talk about that. We're here. Yeah, I got more points. I'm going to need to get more points. All right, so let me call Katia again. And I think this time... Because I did see one of the cool things you can do... Fuck it, fine. I don't want to spend that much. But all things considered, I just, I want to get it out of the way. I want to get it out of the way. Boom. Done. Done deal. Never have to worry about them again. You're kidding me! Fine. Take it. Don't call me again. Oh my god. Good. You're done. Okay. And I want to call in Kofu. My boy. My old man. I love Kofu. He's fucking fun. <laughs> he's, he's the grandpa I never had. Because in reality, I don't have a grandpa. Yeah, I know. I never met both my grandpas. They unfortunately passed away before I ever got to meet them. Fucking sucks, man. At least I have a grandma's, at least. Oh, Mr. Kofu. Did you put on some weight? Ha ha ha, can't help it when I'm coming up with new dishes. Old man Kofu's been making plenty of deposits to the belly bank. Well, I just hope you're watching out for your health. Your cute little Venonat wallet might get squished if your belly... It by your belly if you're not careful. Ha ha ha! Thanks for that wallet, by the way. I've been putting it to good use. This place is great. Surrounded by the sea and all. Can't imagine a better location. Feeling the sea breeze puts a bit of spring in my step. In my Pokemon, too. 
I didn't get the card, so I just ultimately decided I... It's too cold. It's too cold. I'll go out after I record. You sure? I just want you to watch the... I'm not gonna get Marvel, though. I might... That's fine. I, I... I realized halfway there, I'm like, oh, fuck. They only sell 20s, and they only sell 50s. For... Cards. For... For Steam cards. Ha 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 ha. Fucking hell. That being said, I can't help but notice there's a lack of seafood on the cafeteria menu. Don't you think it'd make the students here happy if they could eat their fill of seafood freshly brought in the ocean on their doorstep? I bet they love it. Yeah, I bet they love it as well. Like, I love the fries and the good shit, but having some seafood would be a nice variety. Give people variety. Give them, like, options. Excellent. Now that I got your endorsement, it's time for old man Kofu to work his magic. Just you wait. The fingerlings here need a proper meal, and Kofu Lounge is gonna provide it. I fucking love this dude. He's like, he's like, he's like the best uncle. <laughs> I said he's the grandpa we never had. <laughs> The joke is jo the joke. We our grandpas are dead. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Which is sad. Yeah, it is. I hope I get to meet them someday. Anyways, we probably never will. Step right up. Why not have a lively battle with old man Kofu? Old Hel man Kofu. Oh fuck yeah! Let's do it, Kofu. Let's let's buy all. Did you already fight them? I know. You have to fight them three times and invite them three times just so you can uh trade. No, get gold. You're and once you get, get gold. once you get gold, you can invite more people here. Okay. So all the trainers, all the gym leaders have to be gold before you invite more people in. And we have to invite a lot of guest coaches so we can get the team star guy. Yeah, I know. And his cohorts. Because I'm sure we're going to have to fight his cohorts as well. Which I have a feeling we might. And Joe, essentially I think the team star and those cohorts... Kinda act like the uh, the battle towers, like special trainers. Yeah. This entire Blueberry Academy, straight up in the Kitakami, reminds me of like post game stuff that you would see in like Gen Five and like Gen Four. Yeah. Like the battle resort and like um the battle tower. But it's a lot more than that. But it's more than, yeah, it's more than that. And I'm glad they did this. And you can yeah, tell, cause, you can tell, um... Bro, let's be real, fucking Sword and Shield's DLC was a little lackluster. I was okay. Except for part two. I, I was okay with it. I was okay with it. But, I will agree, hunting legendaries is some of the most stressful shit you ever have to fucking go through in your entire life. I fucking hate fighting against the legendaries. I hate it. Because they never stay in the fucking Pokeballs. <laughs> and you're trying not to kill them, too. So you're just teetering between, do I use a move and almost kill it, or do I fucking try to catch it with a low- Spam Pokeballs. I have like 600 fucking Ultra Balls. I might, I might have to get like over 900 because I'm not that confident of catching these fucking legendaries. What? Joe, look, it's your favorite one. It's the dicks. Aren't you going to use your old team from like when you used, did your Violet LP? No. Wow. I'm not gonna do Atlantic Economy. Can I please have a side Joe? I'm begging you. I just, I, uh, I just, I will. I I'm need, not gonna record it, but I will. I, I need. Will lock them. I just need sand true. That's all I. I know. I know. Need. I'll get it for you. <laughs> the times of battle are fickle. I, you never I, know how to flow, and that's what I like. I meant when I said I wasn't going to unlock it. I meant I said I wasn't going oh, to yeah. record it. Uh, so if the if like to if if my brothers um subscribers feel like oh my god, I want to see the Blueberry Academy everywhere else, just watch my channel. Yeah, I have, 
I've done Kitakami in this, but I know there's gonna be a lot of filler episodes coming just running around, like, doing stupid bullshit and trying to get BB points. At this point, I've deleted some of that, because I've gotten rid of it, because I'm just tired of dealing with, uh, fucking filler episodes, and I, I, yeah, because it's just filler! It's literally just filler of me trying to get Blueberry Academy points, like, keep doing special coaches. And it's stupid, and I don't want people to go through that. Because it's no better than me doing back in the Sword and Shield days. About me money running around trying to get mileage points just so to beat the DLC. It's no better than that. <laughs> what a great catch! Vault... Vaulting the loser. Seems like I was the one reeled in this one this time. Fucking pearl string. I will take that. I'll take that. Old man Kofu's always ready for the next battle. Looking forward to it. In fact, did you see those little flowers blooming in the terrarium? Such precious things, doing their absolute darndest. Let me tell you. Getting a chance to work with students has been a real learning experience. You got no idea how many cool new poses I picked up. What a haul. <laughs> I love it. I love this guy. He's so good. He he reminds me of like the older gym leaders from like back in like Gen 1 and Gen 3. Which I know they were like somewhat darn and basic, but they had personality too. Dude. Crasher Wake is also another one of my favorite fucking gym leaders. Because and they're both water types. And they're both water type gym leaders. It just goes to show that Pokemon kind of does favor the water types. Because some of them kind of have the best of the best. Like, Wally's a fucking... Uh, water type. Hold on. Is he dragon or water? No, no, no. Wally... Yeah, Wally... No, not Wally. Wally's the fucking thing. Uh, what am I trying to think of? Ooh, I know who you're thinking of. I can't remember his name. He's in Gen 3. So I'm trying to think. It's been a while. I'll think about it in the next video.